Good afternoon and welcome distinguished officers, members, and guests. This afternoon, by the authority of the International Association of Lions Clubs, we're about to begin the induction ceremony of Lion candidates into the Lions Club of Middletown, New Jersey, District 16B. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you and assure you that your decision to become a member of this service organization of Lions, which currently numbers 1.4 million strong, is extremely commendable. <coughs> we are an organization of men and women who volunteer our time to humanitarian causes through community involvement and international cooperation. The main focus of Lions fundraising activity is for site conservation. Site conservation. Other pursuits take us into the community for drug awareness, diabetes clinics, organ donations, cancer and heart research, surgical outreach, as well as extensive work with the deaf and the blind. I will ask you to listen, please, as I quote excerpts of a speech given at the 1925 Lions Convention. The young lady said, try to imagine how you would feel if you was stricken blind today as she spoke to the lions. Picture yourself stumbling and groping in the broad daylight. Your work, your independence, gone. In that dark world, how would you feel if someone took you by the hand and said, come with me and I will teach you how to do the things you used to do when you could see. Today is a special occasion for you to become members of a Lions, World Lions organization that challenges the need of the less fortunate. I continue her words. The opportunity I bring to you is this, she said, to foster excuse me, to foster and sponsor the work of the American Federation for the Blind. Would you not help me hasten the day when there shall be no preventable blindness, no little deaf blind child untaught, no blind men or woman unaided? I appeal to you, lions, you who have your sight, your hearing, you who are strong and brave and kind, will you not constitute yourselves knights of the blind in this crusade against darkness? I thank you, she said. These were the words of the legendary Helen Keller. Subsequently, the support for sight conservation is a priority with us. In your own mind now, please light your candle in the fervent hope that it will be symbolic of your intention to be a part of that crusade. <coughs> I implore you, let her challenges always guide you as you serve, when you sell items like art, knitting, help sell flowers, present a, a scholarship, or do anything fundraising or creative for a community or a less fortunate individual. <clears throat> Remember, be the, that night of the blind that Helen was talking about. Also, some of us are blind. 
But as God is our witness, we are not disabled. We simply derive satisfaction from doing for others. And since Helen gave this speech, around the world, blind have been coming into our numbers. And I welcome the addition of the blind members and colleagues today. <clears throat> since you have expressed the desire to be associated with this club and with Lions Clubs International, I now ask that you respond to my words with a simple I do or I will. <coughs> to the candidates, do you hereby accept membership in the Middle Pound Lions Club knowing that your membership obligates you to participate in the functions of the club? I do. I do. To the best of your ability, would you abide by the Lions Code of Ethics attend meetings, accept such assignments as are given, and contribute your share to the programs of your club, your district, and Lions Clubs International. I will. I will. You are now, by the power of vested in me, members of the Middletown Lions Club. Your sponsor, will now come around to you and present you with a lion's emblem pin which signifies this membership. So just be seated and your, your sponsor will uh, be putting a pin on you now. Dottie Lee, Ann Power, Michael White, Charles Blood, Carol Graham. Lions wear with pride this emblem. Let me congratulate you and welcome you into the greatest of all service club organizations, the International Association of Lions Clubs. On behalf of the club, I now present you with your official certificates of membership and yes, a new membership you. kit, yes, which will help you get a good start in your life as a lion. And so I will be around with the membership kits. We, were, we are proud and happy to have you. Listen up. Listen up. We are proud and happy to have you as a member of the Middletown Lions Club. I want to close this ceremony by stressing Helen Keller's verbiage again. Dear Lions, she said, my Knights of the Blind, as I have always called you. What a wonderful moment this is as I stand before you. Think of the light you are spreading among the people oh, that one. of the world. One more. She was a dream. I oh, wish yeah. I had it. I, oh my I goodness. Give her a big hug like <laughs> and thank you very I'm much. I'm stuck in Dottie's head. Welcome to the Lions. <laughs> Lions, as a point of order, uh, we're not supposed to get Lions pins stuck in a prospective member's hair, but Dottie. <laughs> so, Jimmy, Jimmy did a good job of getting it out. I got it. Uh, I got, got it recorded here. <laughs> Congratulations! Let's have a big round of applause for our new members. That's terrific. Can I, can I just interrupt for a moment? I brought with me a little special gift from me to you. Something you can touch and feel that communicates my affection for you and my best wishes to you.